Hi everyone, Charmaine here and welcome to another video. Today I will show you how I made these gold foil floral details on this insert using the hot foil pen from Stationery Pal. This video will be in two parts. The first part will be sort of like a product review tutorial introduction of this hot foil pen. And the other part, I will show you how I made the gold floral details on this insert. You can check the description below for the link to this hot foil pen set. And you can use my code Charmaine12 to get a discount on all the products available on their website. Before we jump right into the first part, I invite you to click subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. So let's get started. This is the heated gold foil pen, but it's called Hot Foil Pen Set on their website. You can pause this part if you want to read the instructions, but I will try my best to go through each one of them in this video. The set comes with this gold foil already. This one is 48 inches in length. It also comes in different colors and other metallic styles, which you can purchase separately on their website as well. So I have a pink pen with a 0.8 mm nib. So the pen is powered via a USB and I have this little coaster right here, which is also a USB port and it just connects to the socket as you can see over there. And it's super easy, I just attach the USB onto the port and I turn on the pen. You will know because it has a light indicator. I set it aside to allow the nib to heat up and while this is heating up, I prepare the gold foil. So I cut a small portion of the gold foil and secure it onto, this is actually a cardboard. Actually, it's a cardstock that is 220 GSM in thickness. So I do a small patch test on the corner just to see if the pen is already hot enough. And for this demo tutorial, I am writing in four different ways. Fast, slow, soft, and hard. Just so you can see the comparison of how the pen sort of writes in different ways and what is the best way so you will have the gold foil render better on your material. So upon making this video, I was already able to play with the whole set a couple of times. I've been able to experiment with it. So in my opinion, if you want to get a really good render or a seamless print using your gold foil pen set, you will have to write slow and hard. The fast and soft method, they actually give you thinner lines. So if you're adding intricate details onto your drawing and stuff, you can do the soft part so you can have just a variety of line thickness if that's what you're going for. So this pen works on different surfaces. I cannot stress enough. A patch test is super important. Let me show you why. This is a faux leather scrap that I have on. So I have paintings on it. And you'd think that it would render on synthetic leather because it renders on leather as I've seen in a lot of tutorials and even in the sample photo in the back. But I discovered that it's not very friendly with this particular synthetic leather that I have. As you can see, the gold foil actually sticks on top of my paintings, but it doesn't render onto the parts where there is no painting. So it does not adhere to the face of the synthetic leather. So this is the only scrap leather that I have. It might be different for other synthetic leathers, I don't know, but patch test is absolutely important. I also tried it on this plastic pouch. It did render okay on this plastic pouch. I also tried a bit on 
glass but i think because they have like a glossy surface the print holds but i'm not sure if it's susceptible to scratching i haven't had this product for a long while to know about the wear and tear on this particular surface but one thing is for sure though this hot foil pen set works wonders with paper surface and paper products so here i am part two of this video preparing to draw or doodle on this pandagdag insert from artisan papery so prepare your gold foil to size and in this case i laid out my insert flat because i wanted it to do a bit of an overlap on the spine so position your gold foil onto the area that you want to draw over and secure it with your washi tape so the instructions call for low adhesive washi tape so you can just easily take it off later on so it is important that you have no folds when you place your foil down and yeah that's pretty much it make sure your pen is hot so that it will render the gold nicely so i can't really give you a tutorial on how to draw the flower maybe that will be for another video let me know if you'd want that but what i do when i draw florals is that i look at reference photos and just try to copy the form i just do my florals freehand but if you're not very confident with your drawing skills I suggest that you practice first using pen and paper so you have more or less get like sort of a memory on to how to draw that specific flower or that specific form just so you won't have much trouble when you are already drawing directly on the gold foil sheet. So it does seem like I'm just drawing on regular paper but there's just no ink happening but it was a bit difficult to see if it did actually connect or if my lines actually connected one because it was super glossy sometimes i'd have to move my head around just so i know where the lines connect and secondly you can't really check on how it rendered at the back or else you would risk moving the gold foil around and maybe i don't know um move your whole drawing around all in all it was super fun it does take a while to get used to when like my general form is like i think yeah i'm okay with all the details that i've added onto this i actually lifted the gold foil once just to check if everything was as i wanted it to be so i just lifted um two of the washi stickers or washi tape and checked if everything is all right but, oh it's good it's good it's good but then i realized that on the upper right part it was a bit missing a couple of things so i wanted to add more leaves on that edge so i put it back and hope to god that the whole thing was still in place like all of the lines on that side was still in place so i added more floral details and just went back to other details on the sheet as well so yeah long story short i was sort of satisfied with that and i decided to just yolo peel off the whole thing and bask in the glory of my artwork and i think it turned out pretty great so there are parts that didn't connect like this leaf right here but i just went back and just put in a bit of gold foil on there and i did a bit of work on the small pieces or the things that personally bother me and that's basically how i was able to finish this entire piece on this insert i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for making it through till the end I will see you in the next one, okay? But for now, take care. Bye!